Over to stories from the nation now. After visiting Jordan, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to visit Palestine today. In the historic visit, Modi is expected to de-hyphenate New Delhi's relationship with Palestine and Israel. Indian actor Kamal Hassan has been invited by Harvard University to give a keynote address today. The legendary actor had earlier spoken at Harvard in 2016 about freedom of speech. This year, his topic of speech will be Tamil Nadu. The actor will address several problems that currently plague the state at the annual Indian conference of the prestigious university. Congress President Rahul Gandhi to kickstart party's elections campaign in Karnataka from today. He will be in the southern state from February 10 to 13 and will be touring Bellary, Kopal, Raichur, Gulbarga and Bidar districts. He will address a public meeting and launch a yatra at municipal ground at in Hosapete city in Bellary district. He will also be given a reception by district congress committee workers at Munirabad Hulgi Cross in Kopal district. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley is likely to address boards of markets regulator SCBI and Reserve Bank of India today. Soon after presentation of union budget, it is a customary practice for the Finance Minister to address the boards of the Securities and Exchange Board of India and the Reserve Bank of India. The National Human Rights Commission has taken cognizance of a complaint filed by three children of army officers alleging violation of human rights of the forces personnel in recent incidents of stone pelting in Jammu and Kashmir. In the complaint, uh, the children have said they were disturbed by the recent incidents of stone pelting and assaults by mobs on security forces. According to the statement, The members of a temporary committee made to investigate a fire in a popular Hindu temple premise Minakshi Aman Temple in Tamil Nadu state held a meeting to review their progress on fire safety compliance on Friday in the capital city of Chennai. Now the committee comprises of several experts and legisl legislators including a member of the state cabinet. Members of a non-political organization stuffed their faces with food in India's southern Coimbatore city in a unique counter-protest on Friday. Tanthai, Periyar, Dravidar, uh, Gazalgam's members were protesting a hunger strike by a spiritual leader over allegedly derogatory remarks by a fellow TPDK member and Tamil poet Veramuthu about a Hindu goddess. Veramuthu landed in a soup after he referred to goddess Andal as a Dasi in his essay published in a Tamil daily last month. 